morning, good afternoon, good evening. Good morning. Welcome back to 101 North. We're here today with Angel Serrano. Angel, how's your day going? It's going pretty good. Yeah? How's yeah. your how's your vacation going? What are you up to? Uh, not much. Just, you know, kicking back, enjoying uh, not having to do any homework. <laughs> that's, that's good. Yeah. That, here in Oxnard, I'm sure a lot of people know about Angel Serrano. I think the name gets associated a lot with the fire pictures you had. How has that changed? I don't know. You maybe you want to tell us a little bit about what I'm talking about. So uh, the fire pictures, uh, specifically one of them was posted a lot on Instagram. Um, I posted a whole set. I think it was five photos maybe. But um, I kind of just went out that day. I didn't even know there was a fire. We're talking about the <clears throat> Ventura fires back in, what was it, twenty early 2017 or? I think it was, twenty yeah, 2017. Yeah. Because it was in December, right? yeah yeah so um i didn't know there was a fire i i was kind of stressed out because my power was out mm. and i had an assignment due at midnight and uh so i was kind of freaking out about that and then uh my phone was about to die so i, I w- couldn't send an email to my professor saying you know oh i can't turn in my my work or whatever and uh so of course you know i had to go to twitter and like rant about it and then i saw people saying like yo like uh Let's go to the fi- let's go to the cross like you can see the fire or something like that. <coughs> so I go uh I look outside and um I live by Oxnard High School mm-hmm. and you could kind of see like the Ventura like the the hill where all the houses yeah, are. Yeah. And like I open the door and I'm not joking you like it looked like stranger things like <laughs> the whole sky was just red. Yeah. And I'm just like, "Yo, like what's what's going on?" So I kind of just like started checking and checking and I just see like, like Ventura was basically on fire, you know? And, uh, at first I was kind of hesitant about like going, especially alone. But what, um, what time was it? Do you remember? I want to say it was probably like, it was probably like 11 when I started thinking like, mm-hmm. like maybe I should go. Yeah. And then, uh, I think like by the time midnight hit, like I was like, you know what? Like I want to document this. Um, you know, I just got to know when to leave basically. So I kind of just went out there alone. Um, none of the streets were really blocked off by the time I was out there. But, like, while I was out there, they started blocking off all the streets. And, uh, yeah, it was kind of just, it was just crazy, like, seeing everything, like, live, like, with my own eyes, I guess. And yeah. So, because I remember when the fires happened, I was at, I was at school. Mm-hmm. I remember driving out, and I saw the fires. Oh, I saw the, I saw the red sky that you're talking about. And I was like, oh, I wonder what that is. Let me go look for it. Yeah. I ended up on the wrong mountain, the wrong place. <laughs> I mean, I had no idea where it was, right? Yeah. I was in Camarillo. So how how did you figure out exactly like where to go? Because the picture you got, I mean, the one that trended a lot was the one on Main Street, right? Yeah. The one that kind of, you see the whole street and then the fire in the back. Yeah. Were you just driving around? Did you just kind of... So I kind of took the the back road, like where I usually go to go to Main Street. Mm-hmm. And I, I got to Main Street. And I kind of was just like, okay, well, the fire wasn't, Main Street wasn't what was on fire. It was the, like, top of it. Mm -hmm, The hills, yeah. So, um, I kind of just, I kind of just drove around, honestly. And, uh, I ended up getting, like, to the very top. And I was probably, like, a couple feet away from what was burning. Mm. And, uh, while I was there, like, taking pictures, I actually saw, like, this, like, really, like, old lady, like, watering her lawn, like, trying to save it. So, um. Like, obviously, like, you know, I offered, like, I was like, oh, do you need help, like, with anything? And she, she was like, no, nah, like, we're, we're fine. Like, we're just going to water it down and hope it doesn't, like, hit our house. So, mm-hmm. but it was pretty sad, like, seeing everything. And uh, the news, like, was there. Like, I mean, I wasn't the only photographer there. There was, there was a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, it's unfortunately such a beautiful disaster. Yeah. You know, everyone wants to capture it and make sure they, they have the right picture, I guess. So, I mean, I hate to touch on it, but I kind of have to. There was a lot of controversy on the on the picture because yeah. I know that that I mean for us, photography is an art, right? Mm-hmm. So if we have to capture something beautiful, we have to ca- capture a model or a sunset. But then fire or disasters are also part of art. Mm-hmm. So I understand you did it in the sense of you know it's something happening in the moment. It's gonna be a good picture. I'm gonna go take it, and that's the end of it. Yeah. But, I mean, Twitter kind of attacked you a little bit. Yeah, I mean, at first, 
you know, like I said, I wanted to document it, but um, I was even kind of like hesitant about posting it because I kind of figured, you know, I didn't want to disrespect specifically like the people that lost their home. Mm-hmm. That's who I didn't want to disrespect. Like, I don't want them to think like, oh, we're here trying to like get out and like you're here trying to take pictures of us. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, but yeah, definitely when I posted them, it probably took a few hours and then like, I think, I think when people really started like getting like mad about it, I guess, was when people started saying like, oh, this is such a terrible thing, but these photos are beautiful. Mm. That's what I personally think. Like people were probably like, like how could people say like these photos are beautiful, but it's something so bad, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Cause I, I understand where you're coming from, yeah. where you don't want to make light out of a situation. Mm-hmm. But you also want to showcase what's going on. Yeah. You know, it's kind of in the nature of what you do. Because, uh, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're known more for your landscape stuff, yeah. right? Your sunset stuff, yeah, your yeah. your beach stuff. Yeah. So it just comes in nature for you to want to go out yeah. and take those pictures yeah, and yeah. kind of show them. And then, I mean, I kind of, obviously, like, since I shoot a lot of landscapes, like, I kind of already had, like, that background on like how to like i guess position like everything mm-hmm. so, like there was like one specifically that it, it was my favorite photo that i took and it was um it was just like on a road it wasn't there wasn't much of a fire but there was um i think there was like a street light like in the middle so i did like a 15 second like long exposure mm-hmm. and you know when you do the long exposure like you get those like beams of light like yeah. that look like a star mm-hmm. that's what i got into that picture i actually had the one of the owners of the homes that lived on that street he contacted me and was like hey um you know i live on this street like i i appreciate like you taking photos like can i purchase this off you Mm. so like this was like after all like the hate came towards me so i was kind of just like you know what like how about i just email you the file and you could just you know print it out no charge and because that was that's that was another thing like people were like oh, you should sell these photos, like, sell them to VC Star, sell them to this. And I'm like, I don't want to profit off of it, you know? Like, I, that was just me personally, but there was other people like, no, like, like get your coins and yeah. like stuff like that. And I was kind of just like, ah, like, like nah. Like. What, what made you not want to profit? Because I know, I mean, it's kind of part of it. You yeah, know? yeah, and that's, that's the thing is, like, you would think, like, I mean, as and you would know also since you also take pictures, but... Like as photographers, like you, you want to get paid for your work. You yeah. Know? Like at the end of the day, like it's cool doing things for free sometimes, but at the end of the day, you got to get paid. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I don't know. I think it just goes back to like not wanting to like disrespect, like, like the Ventura as, mm-hmm. as like a whole, you know, yeah. like I just didn't want to profit off like a natural disaster, I guess. I mean, although money would have been good, I feel like you did it the right way. Yeah. to where i mean i feel that that pushed your kind of your following up because w- what was the final like retweet or like on twitter on that because i know it got pretty big i think twitter i don't i don't remember twitter but i know twitter had like i definitely gained like probably at least like 200 followers off of that honestly but i mean it, it was i want to say like it was in the four thousand something on Twitter, I think so. Yeah. I think likes. Likes, okay. Yeah. Likes. But retweets, I think it was probably like maybe like close to a thousand, maybe. A thousand, okay. And then uh, I think it blew up more like locally on Instagram because mm. there was a lot of um, like a lot of people from Ventura reposting it. And uh, yeah. that's probably been like the most like reposted photo that I've had. Yeah, yeah. And you know, people were just like tagging me like, like oh like this is your photo and and like i didn't get bothered that they weren't tagging me just mm-hmm. like once again because of w- what it was you know yeah but i was just like yeah like i took this photo like like thank you or whatever yeah because i mean i think it in the span though i mean that night it just kind of spiraled a lot of control i remember seeing it everywhere and some people would tag you yeah and some people wouldn't yeah but i guess it's just the nature of that that they really don't know who it was yeah yeah it. and and that's the thing is like it was being reposted so much that you know, out of like five people, three of them could have tagged me, and the other two could have had more people seeing it, mm-hmm. and we're like, oh, we don't know who it is, but we're gonna yeah. post it anyways, type of thing. But, um, it was definitely crazy because, like I said, I I left around midnight, and I think, like that Main Street photo, I think I took that at like three a.m. Mm. 
Mm, wow. So I didn't end up getting home until like the sun was already out by the time I got home. So it was probably like six in the morning. See, and I, I kind of just like slept or I didn't sleep. I got there. I put them all on my laptop. I edited like all of them that I thought like, you know, like captured like that moment, I mm-hmm. guess. And then uh, I kind of just like post. I think I think I went to sleep for a while and then I woke up. I posted them. Then I fell asleep again. And then once I woke up, that's when they were just like crazy. And I mean, kind of going back to the time, I don't think people realize the think you were out there for 20 minutes, snapped your pictures oh, and no. went home. No, no <laughs> people don't realize that, you know, it was six, seven hours that you were working yeah. to get those. Yeah. I mean, you ended up posting about five, four. I think I ended up posting like five, yeah. five pictures. Yeah. yeah. So six hours yeah. of work for five pictures. Yeah. People think, so I know how annoying it could be if yeah. people think that, oh, he's just doing it for for the for the cloud people yeah yeah it's like no like that's that's your passion that's what you do you would spend the whole night out there for five pictures and and going back to like people i guess hating or or giving you know comments about it like that was one of the things is they were like oh like oh he's just doing it for retweets or like Mm -hmm. doing it for attention and like to me it was just like you know if that's what you think of me then i guess whatever (laughs) you know but but that's not like I knew at first that it bothered me, but then like at the end of it, I was like, you know what? I know why I did this. I did it for all the right reasons. Like I didn't do it for what, what they're saying I did it for. So like, I kind of just like pushed it off, I guess, but it was, um, it was, it was definitely crazy. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, how do you think that your whole career changed after that? I don't know, man. I, I would, I would definitely say that I got, I started getting more, um, how would you say it? Like my photos started getting like seen more, I guess. Mm-hmm. But as far as like, I mean, nothing like life changing or like yeah. anything insane. I, I would say that like, uh, I did get a message from, I don't know if you know this, but I'm sure you do. Cause I posted it, but, um, someone from, uh, time magazine, like contacted mm-hmm. me about it and like told me like, Hey, you know, like I'm an editor, uh, we we're wondering if uh, we could use like this photo. I think it was the Main Street one. Okay. They're like uh, we could use this photo like in one of our uh, like our publications or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. Um, I don't I don't think they ever used it because they never like got back to me. But like I looked up like the the person and stuff, and mm-hmm. like they were like legit like an actual oh, wow. like like person that worked for them. But um, but even that like just being contacted for it like it was crazy like yeah yeah because I mean now they're so broken wall now you could you know if you ever need to you could yeah, even be yeah. the one to initiate yeah like hey man we talked about i have these yeah. about oh, this you guys might like yeah so yeah th- that was just a crazy but yet beautiful moment oh at yeah the same time yeah. like i said it was just crazy being there like like i was i mean I, like i said i was inches away like from the fire and um from that top of the hill i think I was, I think I was up there for like maybe 15, 20 minutes and then, uh, kind of just like there was, it was super windy that day also. I don't know if you remember. I think so. Yeah. 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 It was, super, it was moving fast. Yeah. It was super windy. And, uh, when, like when I knew I needed to leave, so I had my tripod set up, I was shooting a long exposure and like this big, like gust of wind just hits like the fire and it pushes it towards us. And you just see every, there was probably like maybe like 10 photographers there. Mm-hmm every single photographer there was like oh let's go let's go run run everybody grabs their stuff and jumps in their car and just speeds away and i'm just like oh and i just grab my tripod just throw it in the back of my car and everyone's just like driving down this hill and like everyone's just like they're they're literally like evacuating them while we were there oh wow yeah because it was that crazy because it just kind of yeah i mean with the speed of it it could have engulfed yeah yeah Yeah, exactly we could have got trapped in there yeah and uh it was just funny because before I left, I told, I was like, I knocked on my mom's door and I was like, I'm like, yo, I'm like, you can see the fire from here. Like, I didn't even know there was a fire. And I was like, I think I'm gonna go take pictures. And like, you just like hear him snoring. <laughs> and I was just like, I just like, before I left, I just knocked on I'm like, yo, I'll be back. I'm going to go like to Ventura real quick. And like, I think like the next day, like I woke up, and mom's like, oh my God, did you hear about like Ventura? Like it was, it was on fire overnight. And I was like, yeah like i was i was there and she's like what and i'm like yeah like i, I was there like taking pictures like you want to see him and, like i started showing her all like the videos and stuff and she like got pissed <laughs> really yeah, she wasn't she, happy no she was mad she was like she was just thinking like what could have happened to me yeah she was being a mom but yeah but it was crazy bro it was that's, definitely 
I mean, it's a story for the books. Yeah, you know? definitely. But I mean, although people know you for your landscapes and everything, you, you, I mean, your your feed is, it's a little bit of everything. Yeah. It's funny though because you have a style. Mm-hmm. Like, I could I know when it's an angel for angel um Serrano picture because mm-hmm. you have the same style even with your portraits or like with your fashion stuff. Yeah. So, what else do you do besides the landscapes? So besides the landscapes, uh, I mean, I do portraits. I do a little bit of like car shoots, mm-hmm. I guess. And then I do like, uh, like I guess like streetwear for mm-hmm. uh, my friend Shiloh, Big mm-hmm. Visions, and um, yeah, like like you said, pretty much a little bit of everything: uh, cars, landscapes, portraits, uh, streetwear. I don't focus too much on like product stuff, mm-hmm. but um, I w- I think I I would say I do like a little bit of that. But so I mean. I know you do also a lot of like concert stuff. Yeah. Well, what is that like? Because I know that when something's coming up, you're always <laughs> yeah. like, "Oh, I need a press pass." Yeah. Or I need to be there at the front, and your pictures yeah. are always like you're up in the front. Yeah. So. How- so, as far as like press passes, I've, like you said, I've probably tweeted that for every event that's yeah. been happening <laughs> since like 2016, maybe, and uh, I have never gotten a press pass. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's literally hard. It's hard. Yeah. Like it's really hard. Um. So uh kind of what I do is uh like I think I think the last though like one time I did actually take like my camera was uh to Coachella last year. Mm-hmm. And I kind of waited until like the second day like just I wanted to scope out like how the security was checking and stuff, mm-hmm. you know, like mm-hmm. what they were what how they were like looking at your bags. So what I did is um the next day I went with uh we I was with four friends and my cousin so I, I I took off the lens off the body, and then I put the body in one bag and the lens in the other, mm. so it wasn't as bulky, you know. Yeah. And uh, they don't they don't really check like they just pat the top to make sure. I mean, I would say like they probably just pat it to make sure they don't feel like a shape of something. Yeah. Like illegal, you know. And uh, kind of just try to make my way to the front and. Uh, yeah. So, so you were able to take your camera in because yeah. for for festivals you can't take a camera that has a detachable lens. No, you can't. So you th- can, that's you, that's a problem. Yeah, it's it's a big problem. <laughs> so, and I think they do that because they obviously hire like foot they are they hire photographers. Mm-hmm. So I, what I th- what I think their their like mindset is they're probably like if we let people bring in digital cameras, like if they get better photos than the people that we we're, we're hiring. Like they're mm-hmm. not gonna make any money off of them, you know what I mean? Yeah. Type of thing. But um, I think the the like most difficult one was like the last concert I went to or festival was Camp Flogna, mm-hmm. and uh, I took my camera and I think I I took it in both days. Yeah. But um, the second day was definitely the craziest because uh, me and my girlfriend were in the front to see uh, uh Kanye and Kid Cudi. Mm-hmm. So we we like waited in the front for. I think it was like 11 hours oh man <laughs> we waited in the front for like 11 hours and uh like once once that like went down like i was kind of just squished so i had like literally one hat like i think people don't realize like i think people think when they see that is they're like oh he was just like standing there you know yeah, yeah. but i was literally like surrounded by like like just in my area like hundreds of people like squished and i i legit had like one arm out and was like shooting with one hand not even f- like seeing if i was focusing not even like changing settings like like some like moments i would have some space so i would like bump up like the iso yeah. or like bump it down but um like i legit had like one hand in the air and like just shooting with one hand just clicking 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 and just hoping you know that i get something <laughs> i guess see uh, 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 that's what surprises me that people don't understand how hard it is because yeah n- nowadays everyone's a photographer right yeah no shade on anyone that's trying oh, to yeah, start yeah. or anything yeah but because it's easy you just go best buy you buy a camera and then yeah. you just call yourself a photographer but i feel like people like you that are out there like living it every single day shooting and people yeah see, see your pictures they're like oh he probably was like in a nice little corner yeah. with a cold drink just kind of shooting yeah, away yeah. they don't realize that you're like getting squished by all these people yeah. and i mean you're putting your your work at risk your camera at yeah. risk if it falls that's it yeah you, yeah you're not gonna pick it back up no definitely yeah and I, i've had people tell me like like i remember when i first said i was gonna sneak it in or whatever um someone some i think he's a he's a photographer also and like a videographer mm-hmm. i think he's he might be from santa barbara or something but um he even told me like yo like he messaged me and was like hey man like like i wouldn't risk it like you're you know you're we pay a lot for our equipment and like 
if you were to like damage it like it would suck like i wouldn't try to sneak it in and like i kind of thought about it for a while but mm. i mean like you said like the like i guess like adventurer in me and like the passion in me was just like nah like like i have to at least try and like i'd rather take it and like fail you know at getting mm-hmm. photos than to like not take it and like be standing there and be like damn like like i could have got that shot right there stuff uh, like that. And, and that's the difference between someone that does it as a hobby and someone that does it as a yeah. passion when it's your passion you you're gonna risk it all for yeah. and i mean we're not out here balling you know no, we yeah. don't have money to spend but i know that if something was to happen to it it's just like damn but yeah. then you'll, you'll find a way to come back <laughs> yeah. up and and do it all over again yeah. and i mean i mean it's an investment man you know oh yeah i mean the photo commit's expensive oh yeah so uh but i don't know the concert photos are cool i th- i honestly it would be cool to get a press pass but i think like like having having that memory like being like yo like i had to sneak in my camera i had to do all this work to get this photo like it means so much more to me personally than like like being like like oh here's a press pass like just stand in the pit with like 50 all other the- photographers like i actually like had to like work my ass off to get what i got yeah know? and i mean if you, exactly if you're in a pit with all the other photographers you're all getting the same shot yeah it's all from the same angle yeah it's hard because i mean like when i'm there like i try to like study them and like see like how how they're doing what they're doing i guess who the photographers the, or the, artists? the photographers in the oh, pit okay. yeah and a lot of them are just a lot of them usually just stand like either in the middle or like directly under them and it's like that same shot you know mm. but like like for me like i kind of like like my photos when there's like a crowd or like there's people like have their hands up or something Mm -hmm. and like uh like the recent ones like the playboy cardi ones like there's someone like like legit like they have all their hands up or something and like you can see uh like you can see him like in the middle of everyone's hands like just like up and like to me like that looks way cooler than just like a a picture of them just like there you know it's storytelling yeah that's what it is because you're right if if you just have a picture of whatever artist is out there everyone knows who that artist is yeah but once you turn it you know give it that different angle where people could see exactly what you were experiencing i think that's how people connect yeah um i mean this is all kind of you now but i want to know a little bit of you before so how long have you actually been doing it and why did you even start so i i've been doing photography for i want to say since 2000 since 2015 but I really started taking it like serious, like like I would say serious, is in like I want to say like maybe two thousand, like like mid two thousand sixteen, maybe. Okay. So it all started like uh, so obviously in high school, like everybody has to take either like they have to take an art class, right? Mm-hmm. So I took digital media. Okay. So if you went to Wainimi, uh, you know Chipru. So I took digital media with Chipru. Um, for those that know Chaprut, you know, he's, 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 he's a good teacher, you know, he's a good guy, but he is like, kind of like, he's, he's funny. He, he likes, you know, he kind of like messes like, like, well, that was my mindset when I was in high school though, you know, like now looking back, like I see what he meant, but there's a lot of times in high school where I was just like, like, what is he talking about, man? Like, he'd be like more contrast or like, Mm. like more this. And I'm just like, what? Like, why? So I kind of like, like, so I, you might know that you might know him i've never spoke to him but um we had a guest speaker his name's uh pablo Sh- shalo i think mm, I don't, I don't. no he's from oxnard pablo. no I don't, I don't think i do no? all right so so um uh, he was our guest speaker for that class he was at that time he was a photographer and he like sp- he did a uh, skate photography like skateboarding mm-hmm. photography and then i think he worked for visual also during that time okay um he kind of like went and like showed us his website and was like yo like like yeah you know i'm pablo like this is what i do here are my photos and this and that like i remember sitting there and like like i still remember like what picture like he showed us that like caught my eye and i was like yo like like this is sick like i think i, like, I could probably do this you know and it was a picture of um, the abandoned uh, hotel that's, like, by Toppers on Channel Islands. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the, the one all the, the way uh, in the back. It's called Casa Sirena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he told us, like, a story. And he was like, yeah, he's like, you know, like, like a lot of people go there and, like, they get kicked out. 
like right away like even if you park there like there's always security there and they'll be mm-hmm. like you got to go so he was like you know i got there i was taking pictures and uh i think he said he, he was either friends with the security guard or he like made friends with the security guard okay. and like there's like long story short he got like on top of the roof of the hotel oh wow and took a picture like it was a super cloudy day i think and it was a picture from like the top of the hotel so you could see all the boats and then mm. i think you could see like the bridge like yeah like that bridge by toppers and it was like that picture that i was like yo like this is this is tight like like i like i really like this you know yeah and uh so i i, I definitely got to give him credit because i think if it wasn't for him like going in there and like giving me that like inspiration i probably would have never like picked up like a camera i guess so i mean what w- what are your plans what are your plans for the future what, what do you want to do with this i know photography is really hard yeah to decide where you want to go yeah but have you thought about honestly when i first started out i kind of so when i first started out like my thing was like like fashion or like street street like streetwear Mm -hmm. like i was i've always been into street streetwear and like uh i kind of just wanted to do like like that's what i wanted to do was just photograph streetwear do lookbooks like you know work for like companies that like i wear their clothes and like they don't know i exist yeah like stuff like that but i mean now like like you said man like like that's what i think a lot of people don't understand like how hard it really is sometimes and it's like it's hard like it's it's just hard like to figure out what you want to do because like i think like you said like people know me for like my landscapes and stuff and you could tell because like if you put if i were to post a landscape like it gets a certain amount of likes or whatever and then but if i were to post a portrait of like a guy wearing like 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 a company or something Mm -hmm. like it doesn't get as much like interaction on yeah so like like it's kind of it's kind of hard like like moving from one thing to another mm-hmm. i guess but um i don't know man i don't know what my plans are <laughs> i mean you, you're just trying to stay in the space and kind of yeah, see yeah i mean honestly like if an opportunity were to come my way for like like shooting landscapes and i would do landscapes but like i'm always going to do like the portraiture like like i'm going to do both mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but um I mean, it would be sick to work for a company, you know, but yeah, like you said, it's hard. It is. It is. It's, I mean, I've worked for, for a studio here in Oxnard since I was 17. Right. Mm-hmm. And although, although it's good, I mean, it's money, you know, yeah. like weddings, quinceañeras and all that stuff. It, it really doesn't make you happy. Well, I mean, at least, at least me, no, don't no, get me no. wrong. If you guys need a wedding or quinceañera, yeah. call me, <laughs> but it, it, you know, kind of other stuff. Yeah. And that's hard because people know me. They're like, "Oh, can can you shoot mm-hmm. this?" And it's it's like, "Yeah, I can," but I also really like to, you know, yeah. do this kind of stuff. Yeah, and see that that's kind of how I am too. Because like I'll have people like hit me up, like, "Hey, like, can you take my maternity pictures? Um, can you shoot like a wedding for me?" And like I've done one wedding, one quinceanera, one, and I've done like a bunch of like maternity. Mm-hmm. And like how you're saying, like, like to me, like, yeah, that's where that's where the money's at Mm -hmm. you know like that's where the quick money's at but then like that to me like that's not what i want to do forever you know like i don't want to be shooting like maternity and all that like i don't want that to be my career i guess yeah but if you guys need maternity still hit him up yeah yeah hit me up (laughs) (laughs) i got you i really don't want to butcher the name but what's the name of the it's a vague visions so i know you've done a lot with them i don't know if you've been with them since they started because i remember when was it that i went to the show that you guys put together. Uh, I want to say it was like, t- like 2017, maybe. Around there. So w- what's the whole story behind that? Because I know you worked a lot with yeah, them. Yeah, so, uh, so shout out uh, Shiloh. 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 Wharton, Shiloh. Um, so it was kind of just, he kind of just hit me up. Or no, t- t- ignore that. That's not, that's not <laughs> what happened. So this is what happened. So um, our other friend, Nick Driscoll, he was there also during the show okay he uh i kind of i kind of knew who shiloh and nick were but i never had never talked to them like to me like because they went to oxnard i went to wine okay. so me like i knew them from social media right mm-hmm. so to me like I, w- I would see like their twitter posts and all that stuff and they were like the coolest like they were literally like the coolest people in the world to me <laughs> and they were like you know like i was just like oh like yeah like they're cool and like like this and that like nah they probably wouldn't want to be my friend and stuff like that so um i think like like you know when you like follow people and you're just like oh they're probably not gonna follow me back yeah yeah and like i remember following like uh 
think I followed Shiloh. I followed Shiloh and Nick, but I think Nick followed me back and Shiloh didn't, maybe. <laughs> but <laughs> but um but yeah, Nick followed me back and I was just like like um this was senior year of high school and uh I had like gone I was getting ready to go away to school and he was just like I just hit him up and I was like, Yo, dude, like yeah, like like your brand is like tight and like like um well, the brand is Shiloh's, but Nick was like uh he like he he works with him like and like helps him out with okay. like stuff, but um but I never knew that because I didn't talk to them, so mm. I thought it was like a joint, you know. Yeah. So I was just like, yo, like I like your brand, this and that, like, like and he was like, oh thanks, bro, like your photos are cool and this and that, and I was just like, oh yeah, maybe like one day I could shoot for you and blah blah. blah. So you know, months months kept going, months months passed, months passed, and I, every time I would talk to Nick on Twitter, I'd be I'd mention like taking pictures for them. Yeah. And. uh I think it was like multiple times where he's like oh yeah soon bro like like i'll talk to shiloh and like i'll tell him like to like do it up and uh i went away to school came back and then uh he was just like shiloh hit me up and i just remember being like i told my girlfriend and i was like dude like shiloh hit me up on twitter <laughs> and like he told me like about take pictures for his brand oh my god and like dude i was so pumped because like i said like they were like the coolest people in the world you know yeah and uh and i was just like like I met up with him and like I remember being like freaking nervous and I was just like <laughs> he like pulls up and he's just like yeah like like yeah like take pictures so, like I took his pictures he's like oh how much do I owe you and I'm like oh like it's cool bro don't worry like free like yeah. just give me a shirt that's all I want <laughs> and then he was just like he's like oh like nah man like he's like how about I give you I'll give you like I think he's like I'll give you 60 bucks in a t-shirt how about that and I'm like oh yeah bro that's fine <laughs> yeah. I just remember like going home and like being like all hyped up and that's kind of how we met honestly like at first it was just like it was business but then after that like he kept saying like yo take my photos take my photos and then uh yeah it kind of just turned into like a brotherhood i guess a little bromance <laughs> yeah and uh <laughs> i think i don't know if you ever if you ever saw because i never posted it because i didn't want to get into trouble but <laughs> the first time i actually hung out with them it was uh me shiloh nick and uh, our other friend nico mm -hmm. and we went to la and we were uh we were wheat pasting like vague vision things all over LA. Oh wow. But we only went to one spot, right? We went to one spot. We wheat pasted like three like little like I think they were like probably twelve by eighteen like mm -hmm. posters. We did them and then our friend Nico's like I probably shouldn't have said his name. Uh they probably oh. will never listen to this, but uh, uh, the company that the I'm company. talk about. <laughs> but long story short we're just like yo we want to go crazy like we're gonna go we paste the billboard oh and wow. i was just like dude like it was my first time hanging out with them like i was just like oh shit like like oh my god we're gonna get in trouble but i was like nah yeah let's do it bro like let's let's mm -hmm. I'm, I'm down you know <laughs> so like, we went and uh long story short they like we pasted like a, a a billboard like above like one of like the hypest like brands in like, oh, wow. in, yeah. like la or like overall and like it was crazy, bro. That was my first time hanging out with them. So then really, like, after that, like, it was just, like, like we just started hanging out, hanging out, hanging out. They're like, all right, this guy's kind of cool. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll keep him around. Yeah, and see, like, like people, like, I mean, no disrespect to, like, people that, like, partying and stuff like that. But, like, usually, like, what we do is, like, we'll be like, yo, like, what are you on? Be like, nothing. Be like, all right, come over later and blah, blah, blah. So, like, we usually, like, hang out at, like, Shiloh's place because he has, like, his own little studio. We'll hang out at Shiloh's place, like, literally from, like, 8 to, like, 3 in the morning. Oh, wow. At least we used, not as, we don't stay as late anymore, mm -hmm. but back then we used to just stay there and we used to be like, oh, look at this, like, look at this shirt, like, look at this design, look at this photo, look at this. Like, we used to literally, like, just, like, talk and, like, create. And, like, it was cool. Yeah, I mean, you, you need stuff like that. You need people like yeah. that around you to help you. I mean, I think as creative people, yeah, it's, I mean, as photographers, too, it's such a... It could be such a lonely experience, you know, because yeah. you go out by yourself to shoot, you come back alone to edit, because it's it, it, it's a one person thing. Yeah. But having that outlet with like friends that all kind of, uh, you could you know brainstorm yeah. and all that. Stuff. And it's cool because it's like different, like it's like from like me being a photographer to him being like a, a like owning his own company and like his own clothing brand. You know, like it's like different. It's two different like spectrums, but they're different spectrums but it's they're so similar at the same time you know what i mean mm -hmm. like like for designing like it takes you have to sit there and design yeah yeah you have to find something you have to find inspiration from something and it's like the same thing as taking photos like like me personally like 
I'll like look at like like just like websites like of photos and stuff and like I'll look for something to like inspire me like to do like a certain like idea I guess but yeah it's kind of how how we met it's pretty yeah. crazy I mean because we could go on forever because I mean if we scroll through your website I could ask a question about every single yeah. picture you have you know like my mom actually owns this picture she has it up in her <laughs> oh, yeah. room yeah from 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 my show but I think the other picture I mean that's that's really recent and people really kind of like liked it was yeah. the spacex yeah so that's another story honestly like shout out to my girlfriend because she, she she she's gone through some tough times with me like <laughs> like tough in like terms of like taking going out to take photos like she like legit some like when uh for like the time change mm -hmm. like she would legit wake up at like three in the morning just to go with me to like malibu <laughs> to oh, take wow. like sunrise photos and like yeah. she'd be like half asleep in the car like uh and like hey that's a good girl yeah shout, shout out to her um but yeah so like the story behind like the spacex photo is um it was kind of i knew the launch was gonna happen that's why i was at the beach mm -hmm. but there was actually like a really nice sunset that day mm -hmm. and i i was prepared i had my laptop with me like i was like once these once this launches like if they come out nice i'm gonna edit them and post them right away mm -hmm. so we were kind of just like i was just like we were after the sunset we went to my car and we were just sitting in there and the I was like, I was thinking of shooting like long exposures from like the parking lot and like mm -hmm. getting palm trees in it. Yeah. But I was like, uh, like it was literally, I think the launch was at like 701 or something. Mm -hmm. And I think it was like literally like 659 when I thought about this. And I was like, we were like in my car and I'm like, wait, I was like, there's like so much light here. Like, how am I going to shoot like a good long exposure with so much, like so much yeah, light the, coming the parking in? Lot light and I was stuff. like, how am I going to do this? And I was like, oh shit and then she's like well what do you want to do and i'm like dude let's go like let's let's go so we literally like got everything out of the car i didn't even have shoes on we ran like across the parking lot into like the beach because that that's pretty like deep in almost ran in once we got to the sand it had already launched oh really it was it was already launching it was already launching and uh i kind of just like I was like, I was like, wait, I'm gonna get on top of the lifeguard tower. I'm gonna get on the lifeguard tower. I'm like, I'm gonna set it up real quick. I just like literally opened the tripod up, just set it to. I think I had a like, I think it might have been like 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like, I opened the aperture up all the way and I put like ISO. I think it was like maybe like 400 or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know, something low. And like uh, that's when I got that picture, and I got that photo, and I was just like, like oh shit! I like I just looked at it and I just I ignored it. So then like I went. There's another one. I don't know if it's on there. It might not be. I have to update that. Yeah. Yeah. So there was another one where um, she's kind of like standing and you can see her. It's like the one, a lot of people were saying it was like, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but they're saying it was like Thanos. Or Thanos. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know if yeah. you saw that. Yeah. And it's crazy because you can see like, a, <laughs> you can see like a face like in, in the like long exposure. Let's see if we could. If you could go on like Instagram or it'll be on my twitter also but yeah it was pretty crazy um like it was all like last minute and like like you said like how you were saying earlier like how people like i put in like what seven eight hours of work into like the thomas fire photos yeah like this was literally like five minutes so this one or the other one the next one no next that one. <laughs> oh, i see that yeah see and, and that's the other thing too it's like something like this you ha i mean I, I i totally missed it i was like sleeping or something yeah uh but how long was the actual i want to say for sure no more than 10 minutes yeah see, but, but like that's what four pictures so out of i think i took maybe like nine total mm -hmm. but out of those nine it was these four that came out the best yeah and see, like, for stuff like this, I think this is, um, that might have been. So right now, I mean, if you guys, I don't know if whenever, the, whenever this goes up on the YouTube, which will, I mean, probably just be 101 North, uh, this podcast will have a video to it, which we are recording right now. So you'll be able to see exactly the picture that we're talking about. Let's see. So. Yeah, but. But yeah, man, it was probably like at least, at most ten minutes. But, but um, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, th I mean, 
that's just the beauty of it right yeah yeah. you could spend six hours taking five pictures or you could spend 10 minutes doing this see and the thing with that is like i was just shooting so it was like at the end where i was gonna see like oh like did i get it yeah (laughs) you know but it it also it's not to knock or take away because someone that's not experienced or doesn't know what they're doing Mm -hmm. isn't gonna get this because once you're under pressure and you only have 10 minutes like you could mess up your settings so easily and that's also what it is you know uh like with photography sometimes when you want to charge someone Mm -hmm. and they're like oh you know like costco prints for 10 cents or whatever but it's like you're not charging for the paper you're charging for the the work yeah or in the the 10 years of experience you have so you know i probably couldn't even do this honestly because landscape's not my thing but see and like for photos like that like those are edited but like for stuff like that even sunsets like i try to edit them but i try to make it look realistic yeah but like specifically for like this one like i i was editing it so i think i I added like contrast and stuff but like i tried like to not mess with colors or anything Mm -hmm. because i wanted it to look how it looked when you were looking at it you know especially because there was gonna be so many other pictures yeah yeah really obvious yeah so if i were like to change if i were to make this blue like a turquoise and like the red like a pink people are gonna be like this isn't the same yeah like like why does his look different they were gonna know you know yeah so that was another thing and i probably like i think i edited this one first because it was my favorite mm-hmm. and i made like uh i edited it and I, was, I told my girlfriend i'm like oh do you like the way this looks and she's like yeah like i'm like does it look realistic she's like yeah so i made a preset and i just added it to the other ones mm-hmm. and then i just started like messing with like if it was like too dark or something i would bump up the exposure but um but yeah and, and those those blew up crazy dude like i was surprised like i wasn't i mean there's like some stuff where you're like oh yeah these probably do good numbers mm-hmm. but like these like i was just like i'm like yeah they're nice i'm like but i don't know like like we'll see you know and like literally like that's probably like within like 30 minutes bro it was like at like it was big like it was crazy because here let's see yeah i mean on, on instagram this one is uh, 1700 and this is actually how i find found out about the the launch <laughs> when i saw when i saw your picture i was like i was like what is this yeah and then i started looking i was like oh man See, and the funny thing about that is so th- uh when was it what date did that say october 7th yeah so like in 2000 uh i think it was 2017 they did a launch and okay. it was just like that i didn't know about it mm-hmm. I, I was in my backyard and i see something and just like everyone else that doesn't like didn't know about it they're like oh what is that what's that in the sky yeah. so i was like tripping out and i remember seeing it and i'm like oh i need to get my camera so a year before the uh that i took pictures of it but in my backyard mm. and like super last minute when it was already like this okay so oh, sorry like exploded yeah so so i kind of just got like the big like dust of like cloud or whatever yeah. i kind of just got that so like this this time like i was like like nah like i'm prepared you yeah know? <laughs> so like seeing like um i don't have the other picture on there but like seeing like uh the picture from like the year before compared to that like i was like dude like this is crazy like yeah i mean th- that's what it's all about right yeah. it's about just taking it a day at a time and then you end up doing stuff like that yeah i mean it's really hard to think that oh you know what next year i'm gonna do a better job yeah you just kind of th- these photos were that were from the same day but that was the sunset oh the ones with the crystal ball yeah yeah it's all about being prepared and but even then like sometimes the best for me like the best photos are the ones where you're not prepared but it just depends it I just agree. depends like on what what uh what's going on i guess but yeah that's true because sometimes you will say okay you know what i want this specific whatever yeah and you go out and that lighting's not there mm-hmm. then you could get stuck you're like oh you yeah, know? yeah but if you just go out without any expectations it's like wow yeah you, you get to do all yeah this. so like if we, we want to talk about like not being prepared i think if you go down more so like this one right here the middle one so shout out fallon because i'm sure you've seen i take a lot of pictures of fallon yeah she's I, yeah. she's always down for portraits she's always down to help me out um so like this photo was legit the last photo we took so we were at at this beach i think it's um leo Carrillo. Mm-hmm. we were at leo Carrillo for like two hours right we were shooting we were shooting and then like this was just like messing around like this shot was just messing around really so we like climbed up the rock or whatever and i'm like oh this looks pretty sick like like you just sit down right here like i'm just gonna just like just take it and i take it and i'm just like yo this is the best photo we've got all day so it's like even like i i, I don't know if like other photographers are like you personally like like experience that but like for me it's like 
the pictures where you're not trying Mm -hmm. like come out for me personally come out like they're my favorite ones yeah i totally agree because i mean the 90 percent like i'm barely like you could see like i'm barely getting into uh landscapes but i mean for the past two years i've been doing portraits straight portraits and it is always like that i always shoot for like and i I take a long time with my shoot so I'll, i'll be shooting for like an hour and yeah at the end like i say okay like we're done and then I see something, I'm like, wait, hold on, like, <laughs> let's just shoot this real quick. Yeah. And it always happens. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm just like, damn, like, maybe I just need to be more relaxed or just kind of let things happen. Yeah. Because, yeah, you end up getting stuff like this that someone would see and be like, wow, like, he prepared, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. If you're, uh, I mean, a photographer from anywhere, but specifically, like, from Oxnard or, like, somewhere like Oxnard, and you don't need to go to L.A. every weekend to take pictures. I, I always had that, that, uh that idea in my head that i had to be in la every week taking pictures of like the buildings just like all the other la photographers are and no diss like to the la photographers because those photos are tight but i'm just saying like like the the photo world is like oversaturated with like those same buildings i would say yeah so it's better for me personally like i found it better to kind of use my own creativity here and work like with what i got type of thing so uh so yeah it's so uh, yeah it, it's totally true i mean that, that i mean i think just society just says la is like the place to be yeah but i mean our, our city has so much to offer yeah that if you're from anywhere in ventura county honestly yeah it, no, yeah if you're just if you want to do what you got to do and you can't make it out yeah you know go go to the park go to the beach i mean we're <laughs> surrounded by the beach we're, we're yeah. literally like 20 minutes away from different yeah. scenery can we touch on that or how much yeah, time yeah, do no, you have? No, yeah? go for it, yeah. yeah. So, like like you're saying, like, work with what you have. So, I'm sure a lot of people see, like, how people do, like, those, uh, like, challenges where they go, like, to Hobby Lobby and stuff like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Like, it's stuff like that. Like, like I found, like, even, like, standing in front of a tree, like, just a random tree. Like, if you know how to, like, to work with, like, your settings and all that stuff, like, they come out sick. And, mm-hmm. and it's just, like, it's just, like, a, it's just a tree, you know? So, like... If you go to a, like, if you scroll up a little bit. So this one of my girlfriend. So this is just, like, I was, like, I'm, like, oh, let's just walk around, like, uh, I think it was Silver Strand, and we're, like, just see what we find, right? Mm -hmm. So we're, like, walking, and, like, I just see, like, the back of this, like, house, and it's, like, yellow, and I see, like, the palm tree, and I'm, like, oh, like, that's pretty, like, it's cool, you know? Like, to me, it was cool. I was just, like, oh, it's a good, it's a good, like, it looks nice. Like, I think it looks nice. So, like, it's just stuff like that, like if you like walk around and like just take i do a lot of like like driving around Mm -hmm. (laughs) not really walking around but i do a lot of driving around like just looking for spots and stuff and like in your eyes it's gonna look different obviously than it's gonna look on the camera Mm -hmm. and like once you're done editing and all that stuff but like there's like spots like there's a lot of sick spots in oxnard if if you have like the right like idea and like the right i guess like person Mm because it also depends on person sometimes and like style and stuff like that like it, it'll look sick and and i mean yeah yeah it, it's it's so true because it's just about going out that, yeah. that's what i struggle with see i'm a photographer that likes to plan stuff mm-hmm. so i'm like okay this is the idea so i'll get someone i'll plan everything yeah and i feel like you're more like rugged like you'll just kind of go out oh yeah and then just yeah. see what happens See, and, and i try to plan stuff i try all the time i'm just like all right this is what we're gonna do this is how we're gonna do it and I'll get there and I'll do it and I'll be like, no, nah, I don't like it. And I'll be like, all right, so what what can we do now? And the good thing is like everybody that I've taken photos with, like they're they're cool with like working with me and like they're not like, oh, this dude doesn't know what he's doing and mm, stuff like that. Yeah. Like they're more like, like yeah, like what do you what, like yeah, let me help you out. Like oh, we can do this. Like what do you think of this? Mm-hmm. Or like I'll be like, nah, like like yeah, let's do that, but let's add this or something like mm-hmm. that. So it's cool. Like it's cool to have people that like work like are down to like like help you out kind of. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah, yeah. cause it's, it's hard. Like, like I said, like I could have a plan, but then like, it doesn't go right. But like, I'll have like this like vision of like what I want to do, but I, I won't know how to like, how to, how to like really mm-hmm. put it, how to execute it. Yeah. How to execute it. Yeah. And you're right. It's, it's about having that person that would say, you know what? Like, all right, like can I help you get over that speed bump? Yeah. Yeah. Cause sometimes exactly like you go, you plan a shoot, you go out, it's not working. Yeah. And then you just get stuck. You're like, yeah. oh man, like I, I need something to come out of out of this shit. Yeah, shoot. yeah. And for me, like, as long as I get one photo, like, out of the whole day or whatever, like, that's fine with me. But, like, 
at most like i want four because mm-hmm. I, I i try i usually like what i do is i'll post i'll post four of my favorites on twitter but then i'll pick the one that i think is the best out of that four and that's what goes on instagram got it that's how i that's how i like look at it so i'm like yeah, that, as long as i get one for instagram or four for twitter mm-hmm. like that's perfectly fine yeah, with me that's like, I, I, I wish Instagram though kept the quality. It's a little side note, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Twitter's like Twitter. Love you guys. Quality oh, yeah. stays. Shout out Twitter. Hey, honestly, my engagement on Twitter is way better than Instagram. And like, I mean, it's it's not really, it's not all about the followers, right? But at the it, same it time, it good. kind of it is. Feels good. Yeah, it, it it does feel good. Like when you when your photos like blow up or whatever, like stuff like that. But like, Instagram is struggling right now. <laughs> what's your instagram where can people find you uh you can find me at it's double underscore angel serrano um i'm sure chris will put it like in the description or something what about twitter and then twitter is the same thing double underscore angel serrano and then uh my website is angel serrano photography.com and then uh yeah instagram struggling though instagram if you're hearing this please fix the algorithm <laughs> yeah so you know we got to show love in all platforms so any any final thoughts, Angel? Any last thing you want to tell all your followers? Mm, let's see. All right, yeah. Well, last thing. So, um, every creative, whether you're a photographer, uh, an artist, a dancer, uh, what other type of art forms is there? Everything, music, everything, music, poetry. yeah, all that. I I think. I think especially like specifically if you're local especially but like everywhere like it's important like to support each other honestly like i see a lot of people like like going back to the thomas fire like people that like bashed me for it i guess like it like it's better to just like support somebody like in your city that's like doing something i guess than like not doing anything or like trying to like make your city look bad Mm um i don't know uh, that's that's just one thing i would say is like just make sure you support each other and like try not to like bash on like other photographers that are like in your city or like that are trying or like like you said like people that are trying to start like photography you know mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like i have a lot of people ask me like for help and stuff and i'm always down to help so if you ever need like advice or like help on like what settings you should use or something and like you don't want to watch a youtube video like i'm always down to help so I think supporting one another is like super important. There you go. You guys heard it from Angel Straight. Any local creatives support each other, help each other. Honestly, we're from a small city, so it's the only way we're really going to come come up. Yeah. So, Angel, again, pleasure. Thank you. Hopefully, we'll have you back when you're in the cover of <laughs> everything. And you guys are listening to 101 North. And stay tuned for our next local artist thank you bye